You know, let's get into this grand set. This is going to be the rematch between Jen and Venia. Jen on the winner's side. Yep. Uh, and see what Venia can do to bring it back. A chance at revenge for Venia. Welcome to Grand Finals here at Xenosaga 32. And all of a sudden, Jen, yeah, that back air is kind of busted. Might as well take advantage of it while you can. And when I say while I can, I mean before the patch. Anyway, Venia, we saw what happened in there, okay? Look, I'm just saying. The roll backwards, however, Venia is going to pay that no mind whatsoever. It's going to have to find a way. Uh... Jen is going to have to find a way to deal with this. I mean, he's been sitting and uh, sitting and watching. He's very comfortable on that winner's side. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, we're going to see the, uh, the aptitude of Venya come out in full force. However, Jen, even in it right back up and in fact taking a slight advantage, looking for these grabs that will be imperative to his game plan. Whether it's starting the combos or you know what, just throw out the up smash. Why not? You got it. I've got a beam of light. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. You're a frog. <laughs> I mean, is that rude to say? I don't know. It's like, I'm a goddess. What are you going to do? Ribbit? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally the goddess of light. Go croak about it if you want. Back here. Puts him in a slight disadvantage, but Venya not afraid to meet Palutena with buttons in the air. He will have to be judicious about this going forward. But for now, it works. But he's only going to get so much mileage out of it. Certainly does so there. 62%. But two stocks apiece. It's a good little trade. Oh! Oh my god. Catching him with the up smash again. Immediately right back with that up smash. And Venia... I mean, he's got to be paranoid of some of the options that Jen is uh, picking because remember when we saw him playing uh, that game number two of winner's final, we saw him get caught twice mm -hmm. with that uh, explosive flame. And now all of a sudden getting caught twice, just sitting in neutral, walk up, beam of light straight in the face yeah. and all of a sudden that's two stocks gone. And, uh, and in contrast to the last set that we just saw, like Palutena is a character that can really keep up. These are two very fast characters. And they're just going tit for tat, left and right. So when you have two characters uh, of the same type in that respect, like that stock lead means a lot. Yeah, it really might just come down to the versatility with which these characters can collect stocks. And Venya, I mean, this is Greninja you're talking about. Unless you're getting some sort of crazy movement read with the Water Shuriken, you're not getting a lot of these kills from distance. And Jen, I don't think, is going to really allow that to happen all that easily. This is Venya who's going to have to set up a very specific win condition. And I don't think Jen is going to give it to him uh, with any form of ease. However, he will certainly collect that last stock with two remaining. And yeah, that up air, it is as brutal as ever, Devin. Actually, she said no one can hide from the light. Literally, those two up smashes, yeah. the light finding his way. So here we see the pretty standard Venia counter pick. We're going to FD. This is um, Greninja's best stage. I, I did I'm notice told. that too. That was kind of cute. The uh, sometimes it just works out with those Zen taunts. Okay, Jen needs to win two more to win the tournament. Uh, Venia needs to win six more to. For the tournament, yeah. Three for the reset, three for the win, yeah. Yeah. And this is such a good song choice, oh my gosh. Anyway, no platforms with which to hide, and you're definitely not taking, uh, you're definitely not taking him to, her to try plats. Now, we saw the ban on Town and City, we saw the ban on Kalos. I would think that Palutena would benefit, actually, from such a large area with which to work, and yet you see Venya going to FD. What's the rationale behind that? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure it comes down partially to be a comfort stage that is one of Greninja's best stages, regardless of matchup. Sure. Um, and just, I think,
the extra space that uh, Jen banned, I think he just wanted to get rid of it just in case that if Vanier were to take a lead, he doesn't want him to just run amok and just be that much harder to catch. Because with such large blast zones, he's like, oh, I caught you. Oh, god damn it, you didn't die. And he just doesn't want to deal with that level of frustration. So you're kind of talking, uh, I mean, almost, uh, it almost sounds like when you're playing with the lead and you know that, you know, you're, uh, Maybe your opponent's going for the long bombs. That's when you start deploying the nickel or dime defenses. That's, yeah. that's kind of what it sounds like to me. Yeah, he's like, okay, you want to play fast on this stage? I'll play fast on this stage, you know. Have normal blast zones, that's what I want. And, like, you want a flat stage? I'll give it to you. And, yeah, give it to Jen. He's always been willing to meet uh, Venya where the rubber meets the road and always willing to try to keep up. I mean, even if it's not necessarily the most orthodox character with which to do it, you see him doing it with relative effectiveness, especially given oh. that 3-1 victory Ooh. in winner's finals over the uh, Ace of Deadly Alliance. Missing on that grab, Venia going to take full advantage. And now all of a sudden... Oh, he was looking for like a dodge to punish him, but uh, Jen going down swinging. Yeah. Gonna get caught by that down tilt up smash, uh, giving Venia once again the stock lead. Uh, how much time until uh, Jen is able to... Even it up, that, you know, it just boils down to how slippery Venya can be and uh, and how much damage he does will really secure how much of a lead. That well, time, back throw ain't going to do enough. If you want to, if you want any indication, Venya is literally a frog, so yes. it's not going to necessarily yeah. be easy. He is a frog humanoid. Um, we have tested this. Frog Shinobi. Yeah. Yes. What was the thing that Hauper put in the Xeno 200? The uh, Hoka Hokage of Hydration. Wonderful. Are you serious? Yeah, the wet bandito. I love it. That's nuts. <laughs> oh, that might be enough. Yep. And so just like that, uh, Jen evening up the stocks the same, the same way for the last two. The H2O Kage. Oh, my God. You're that's, welcome. That's way better. You're welcome. Thank you. Yo, that's we'll, right. We'll save that for uh, Xeno Follow 300. Follow me on Twitter at the Announcer. Anyway, Explosive Do Flame. And <laughs> Oh, oh, the down smash! Spread your wings out. and fly, what Jen! A call out. Oh, my lord. Excellently done. I need to see that again. Yeah, absolutely. Take that and rewind it back. The back air to get him off stage. When did he? Setting them he all up. Commit and he committed wow. to it right away. And yeah, the wings. Oh, that, did you hear nuts. that? The Ryu. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that's man. that's Jen. I hope this isn't like this. Breaking. Oh, no. Now we know what it means to suffer. He just broke out the Ryu. And we're going to FD too, so uh, this is going to be interesting. I mean, he's already been playing with that aggressive mindset, so you might as well take advantage of all the shield pressure. You might as well take advantage of uh, all the crazy hitboxes that some of the Shotos have in this game. So, while I don't think this is necessarily a bad pick, I, I can't help but get the feeling that because he's up 2-0, he's like, kind of flexing, and look, flex all you want, but don't flex on Venia. Venia only taking 1.8 damage uh, that yeah. first stock, and Jen already on his second. Like, because like, all you do, this game, it and it'll stretch across multiple games. You give him an inch, he's gonna take a mile, all right? Yeah. And, and like, if he ends up losing so hard and then goes back to Palu, like, this is going to piss off Venya, potentially. Uh, and, like, then he'll have to deal with a whole new beast. And then we, you know, that might be what uh, yeah. clinches it for us to see a reset. But, yeah, you, you know, never, you never want Venya playing with motivation. You just yeah. don't. Like, it is uh, Venya, when he plays with purpose, absolutely okay. one of the most uh, potent forces uh, that Smash has to offer. Right. So, yeah. so not to completely count out uh, Jen's Ryu, you know, it is Ryu, so like, if he can get those kills, he, you know, sometimes he, sometimes Ryu doesn't care about stock deficit, because he's like, lol, I'll just get it back, it's fine. Nah, never mind, he's just gonna get a shower. Yep. Uh, I mean, you know what, it's the World Warriors, sometimes you get a little dirty outside, it's all good in the hood, yeah. but, I mean... Then you're actually doing him a favor. I'm just saying the King's Court is probably a lot less sanitary than it lets on. Oh, Lord. So, well, I mean, so anyway. <laughs> All right. That's going to be a stock. Yep. But now we still have a full stock deficit. Okay. Uh, uh. 
Yeah. So All right. now it really just is going to depend on like w this is going to be the clinching stock because either Jen dies and the game is over, yeah. or uh, he's able to do something wild on this stock without taking too much damage, which Ryu is capable of doing, True. and then just lands that early kill. I feel like he's going to have to rely just a little bit more on focus attack if he wants to get back on stage. I mean, typical Ryu strats, I know, but I mean, you see Invenia meet him in the air with a lot of buttons, with a lot more, uh, a lot more freedom with which to do so than he had with Palutena. So he's going to flex on that. He's going to get that practice in. He's going to use this Ryu as batting practice almost in that regard. But, I mean, as long as you're hitting them and not getting punished for it, I mean, that's uh, all a timing thing. And we know that Venya has that down too. Uh -huh. Wait a second. And this Ryu is absolutely legit. However, this is the Greninja that Venya is uh, so famous for. Yeah, that up. Wow. Okay, so okay. last stock, and he's coming back to a full rage. Yeah, he's dead. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was game three. Venia is a... Uh, he does have a game, and Jen... <laughs> Put one up on the board. He's dead, Jim. Like... <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of fun. You have excellent comedic timing, Devin, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. So, now all of a sudden, yeah, going Ryu again. This is interesting. Was Final Destination the pick once more? I wouldn't be surprised. We're just, oh, wow. I, okay. Huh. You know what? Fine. Like, if he's going to change his character, like, at least counter pick to what's better for him. Uh, you know, big glass zones, you know, usually make people live longer, but that really just makes Ryu live longer. Because he right. hits so hard, blast zones don't matter. Yeah, and rage, even though it's not as much of a thing, it's still a thing. Like, you don't yeah. want a pissed off Ryu. But then again, it kind of makes you wonder, uh, Venya's activated his rage as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> like a pissed Venya in real life versus a, a, a pissed Ryu yeah. in the video game that he's not even from. Yeah, uh, now, now oh, you... Oh, goodbye! Oh, man, the water This time he was zero. Now, Before he did 1.8 damage, now he did zero. Welcome to the compilation, Devin. Oh. Um, so either way, as we uh, as we get things going here in this game number four, don't blink. Jen just lost his stock. And, yeah, this is a really good Ryu, but it, this is a well-practiced Greninja, and all of a sudden, this is Venya that you just gave motivation like, that is terrifying, to be completely honest. I don't know. And I think honestly, at this point, I think at this point that if uh, Jen loses this set, as I'm like kind of seeing the direction go in when you do zero damage on your first stock, um, if he goes Palu, if he loses, he gets his just desserts. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, uh, this is his, uh, I mean, ironic that it comes from a character uh, from a game called Kid Icarus, because this is Jen's flight into the sun. Yeah, like it kind of is, really. But yeah, we'll see if those wings are made of wax. Okay, that's a. No, I'm glad never mind. someone gets it. Got that? Got you, homie. Don't worry. There you go. Oh, but the uppercut. Catch these hands, says Jen. All right. You know what? Even stocks and only 50 damage. He actually brought it back. I say as he gets flung off stage. All right, grabs the ledge. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all he has to do is not get thrown off of the stage ever. Okay, and he's off the stage. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, show you again off. Uh, All right. This is kind of like what you see in the matchup because now, you know, he has his rage, and as long as he doesn't get, like, trapped like that he did in that first stock, you know, it'll be hard to kill him, oh. is what I would say, because there he goes. Yeah, All right. I mean, in that hypothetical scenario. Yeah, you know, uh, we'll never know unless we see maybe an attempt again made in game three or in this stock. It's really just up in the air. I would, uh, like Ryu. You are so used to doing the weeklies that you called the next game Game 3. Oh, did I? You ha! totally did. Welcome to New York, folks. Either way, Jen uh, right. has him in a good position, was looking for a trip off of that down tilt, would not find it. He will instead have to eat a couple more percentage points worth of damage. He not a hefty price to pay, however. The Hail Mary up B just being like, run into the backside of my fist, not the front. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Looking for those jabs, not finding them. 
Mania, I mean, you know, just because he's a he's an aggressive player doesn't mean he's gonna run into your hurt boxes. Just saying. Yeah. Venia's he's hanging back. He knows he has the lead. He's just like, I have a billion Greninja stars. You know I spawned them, right? I don't actually, like, pack them. And we're done. Yeah, yeah that is right. game five. And, yep, you just uh, you just pissed off perhaps the best Greninja in the world. That's that's never a good thing. All right. But Jen, <sighs> I, Jen is always, I have to admire his confidence with which he does it. Is he really trying to finish this out with Ryu? I mean, let's see. All right, Palutena, oh, back to PS2 where uh, where he won on game one. Um, like I said, if he loses this, this isn't getting his just desserts. Kind of deserves it. Honestly, I think I would have. I honestly think I would have cheesed it by just like letting him, oh, uh, no, not letting them pick, pa <laughs> letting them pick Battlefield again, and then just going Palutena there. Yeah, that's I feel like what I would have done, but. Oh. Okay, so um, back to the regularly scheduled programming. If you wanted to know how we got to game five, uh, you know, game one, Jen, game two, Jen, game three and four, <laughs> game five, uh, you know, here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's, uh, oh, and we are talking about uh, Venia, one of the, one of the more well-known uh players of this, uh, one of the more well-known mains of wow. this character, I guess I should say. And even though there are obviously contenders for uh, for the title of Best Greninja in the world, certainly uh, one of our good friends up in Canada, JW, uh, among them. I really like the, the that high recovery that Jen was going for, because yeah. he made uh, Venia, like, second guess how he was going to punish him. Alright, going to get that first oh, stock. Oh, yeah. He's chasing him down, and that's... Uh, this is Venia feeling himself again, and Jen all of a sudden maybe in a, finding himself in a bit of a predicament. You don't see him sweating though, and I have to admire him for that. Okay. Up tilt. In the blender you go. Yeah. Not my, quite yet. My man's using the, the the pulse chop on the blender, where it's like sometimes it's not consistent. He sometimes not holding it down all the time. He just kind of you know just a little on and off, on and off. Because he is. Not letting Jen get any hits in. Minus that back there. Oh. All things considered, 70 damage yeah, will be a still a lead for uh, Venia, but it's not insurmountable for Jen. I uh, almost I almost called Palutena's drop kick the back air when I know damn well that's not what the back air is. I just saw her throw out her feet. What can I say? Yeah, she hits you with the toes. Yeah, that is uh, uh, okay. The less we talk oh, about that, the better. Oh my Nevertheless, God. forward air to dash attack. So now, as Jen oh. connects with the back Dang. air. Yes, that's the back air, folks. Trying to connect with an auto reticle. However, Venya just not giving him the time or uh, time and the energy. Uh-oh. Ooh, okay. Looking, yeah, he was looking for that walk-up up smash. But uh, Jen, able to get out of the way. Still good with that evasive movement and realizing that Venya perhaps <gasps> yes. charging in oh a little God. much. Venia down to his tournament stock, courtesy of a big old shield filled with I'm what I'm assuming is buckshot. I don't know <laughs> why it's that powerful. Okay. Oh wow, missing the up smash uh, sweet spot. Uh, gonna give uh, Jen another lease on life on this la on his second stock here. See what damage he's able to build uh, before losing this stock. Um, oh. Dash attack. Right now, only modest percents. Wow, that is, oh. counter, counters always last so long. Especially now that like some like duel as a reflector, it's kind of wild. Well, I mean, Palutena, Palutena needed that in Smash 4. I'm not convinced yeah. she does in this game. Like that is. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, like, if you're talking about Game and Watch, I can see why you could need the reflector. That's one of the reasons why he's good now. But. All right. All right. Nair. It's a Palutena that nares, of course. We're in New York, but nevertheless. I mean, if there are Palutenas not in New York who aren't nairing, uh, I got a real I'll good secret for you that'll really help you out playing the character. Don't tell them! Up smash. All right. Jen. Super even Jen. percents here. Yeah, this is uh, actually kind of tense now. Game five, Jen will miss on the grab. Okay. And now Venya perhaps uh, feeling a, 
Like, he oh, can wow. sit and shield, but oh, man. That was a whiff punish waiting to happen, and Ooh. Jen just was not there for it. I jumped from that one. Them just waiting in shield there. That could have been... Ooh. All right, are we going to see a reset? Not or... really sure. Jen at 127%. Could very well call for the reset here, and that's going to be it. Oh, my oh God. My goodness. I lost control of the English language there, folks. I am so sorry. Can you talk pretty one day? Ooh, I really Ooh. like that coverage from the explosive flame. Oh my god. This is so spooky. Ah! Quick little tag. He's gonna call he's gonna try and call out a jump. Both of them are actually gonna try and do that. No, you oh, the stupid grab, up yep. throw and Jen caught and strung up by his own hubris. Yeah. If we're going back to the Greek theme and just like that, Venio with the reset. And it's a whole new ball game. Yep. All right, so, uh, wow. True finals, got the reset. Um, okay. Here no, we this is uh, true. I do love the usage of the term true finals, and I will hope that spreads, honestly. So either way, Greninja, Palutena, once more with feeling, Pokemon Stadium 2. For this game number one, and uh, you're going to have to update that... Uh, there you go, I crossed it out. Oh, sh dude, that's actually kind of Yeah, silly. that's how you know it's a reset and who came from the losers. Who came from winners. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, it's fair not enough. That's a nuance, not a nice touch. That's subtlety, man. That is. Yes. Uh, either way. All right, so game one, set two, true finals, Pokemon Stadium, Palutena, Greninja. What else do you want? This is New York. This is the epitome of New York. Frog versus Goddess. Um, I think he might be one of the frog gods from like Wind Waker. He's like, Oh my gosh, what was the <laughs> name? Uh, uh, while we deliberate and that, can we just talk about how Venya just chased Jen? Took him all the way off the side. All the way into air. the underworld. Yeah, absolutely. Literally chased him down to hell. That's some Bayonetta stuff right there. I mean the game, not necessarily the Smash character. Anyway. Play the games if you haven't, they're phenomenal. Absolute dude, Bayonetta legit one of my favorite franchises. Um, I have my hot takes, but I will not uh, yeah. deploy them here. Either way, dash attack, maybe just a little uh Oh god. Not a quick enough trigger finger on Jen for that. Sitting at 18%, nevertheless, evasive movements on deck. And Jen, I mean, all of a sudden being challenged by uh Venya, who is playing with a hell of a lot of motivation. What what I honestly, clicked. I honestly what clicked for Benia? feel like the only way Venya is going to be satisfied uh, with a victory if he wins this tournament is he has to three zero Jen. Like the last thing you want is to feel like the the Ryu games were charity, you know, because like he only had to get one game on Palutena to reset it. Uh, so I feel like if we want something that really sends a message, really solidifies that lead, uh, that game is just like well. You, He's like, you done messed up, and now I'm gonna make you really pay for it, and just like, just not let him get a game in the second set. And right now, like, even though it's staying relatively even, the progression of the stocks are always going, are so far in Venia's favor. Granted, it's only been the first stock, but I mean, look at the damage, look at the positioning, and look at the second kill. Yeah. What I'm saying. Okay, so now you say look at the stocks. This is the point where you say look at the stocks. I, I, I just see the future. It's how it is. I, I see these two play all too often. Fair enough. Keep okay, you, Zeno, boys. you, you got, the, uh, got the guard of our future site going on. I see it. Yeah. The series of kicks to the chest of Jen. And this has got to be demoralizing for Jen, where you basically had this uh, this whole thing wrapped up. I honestly feel like if you let him go to Battlefield Game Four or whatever, you uh, you wrap that up pretty quickly. But nevertheless, Ooh. that's uh, that's some Monday morning quarterback, and I'll try to refrain from that from here on in. Then yeah. Daring Jen to approach. You're like, this is my hill, and you're going to have to knock me off of it. No, you did it games one and two, but uh, frankly, the onus is upon you now because you just Ooh. lost three straight games. Okay. 
Uh, right now, Jen really struggling to get this second kill here. Uh, Venia working on a two stock, saying like, yeah, I'm at 150. I actually don't give a damn. Right. Uh... Now this okay. should be, yeah, dash attack will do it. The late hit of dash attack sending him straight up. Uh, no chance of survival there. Percentage is too high. Dash deck is very strong. And now we're going to get some... Oh! Failing to get the low percent combos. Her rage definitely going to be playing a factor in that. You know, you have to account for it. Or sometimes it just doesn't work anymore. Especially with, like, fast faller characters. Like, people with, like, the outside the standard deviation of, like, gravity. Whether the hyper floaty or the hyper folly. Right. Like, you know, it makes things tough uh, when you have a lot of rage sometimes. Anyway, uh, you know, Jen... Working his hardest to, you know, even up these... Ooh! Uh, Benny reading that, trying to read that jump. And he did read it, just didn't yep. get the spacing. And that's gonna not... Not quite it. yet! 166% again. Pokemon Stadium, a pretty high ceiling as well. Uh -oh. I honestly think yeah, Pokemon... That's... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, forward throw is going to do it eventually. All right. I mean, I was just gonna make a point about the game. I'm pretty sure that Pokemon Stadium is the second highest ceiling after uh, um, after Town and City. It might be tied no, with Battlefield. No, 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 because PS2 is actually one of the. I think it has is it the a lowest? normal. It has a normal ceiling. Okay, it has a normal ceiling. I mean, so normal is what 210? Uh, I don't know by numbers. It's like FD. It's an FD ceiling. Gotcha. Yeah. See, I'm not. I, I will look that up later. I just remember seeing it, and I don't. Know anyway, this is, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'll yeah. own that. That's fine. But either way, game number two is what's really important. As we see these two uh, with the footsies trying to get each other uh, nice and opened up for their uh, respective combos. Okay, so dash attack not finding its mark. Venya trying to take advantage, but all of a sudden. Uh, we're seeing a lot of buttons come out from these two, and they are just, they're pressing a lot. I don't know. These two are clearly agitated with each other at this point. Yeah. Uh, this game two, was it started off kind of slow in, like, the first, like, like 20 seconds. They were still kind of dancing around each other, really just intense neutral. But uh, Jen started to, like, pull away in the lead on this damage here, uh, already dealing 100. Oh, my Oh, my God. God. Oh See, well, that's okay. how you know when you're like a trained and like really truly experienced Palutena player. Like it really just knowing your craft of your character, being ready for something like that. Like you know that was like half reaction, half expectation. He's like he either dies or I kill him. Yeah, it's <laughs> uh, it's a little nuts. They are throwing uh, punches to hell with blocking. It seems like they're throwing the haymakers, and now. Down tilt, catching Venia. The ledge, however, makes it back. And yeah, they're just going for grabs and options and kind of just doing this weird tango back to the center of the stage, it seems like. Looking for that forward air, not finding its mark. Venia having to deploy the evasive maneuvers just a little bit more in these past couple of games. He knows what that Palutena is capable of. But he has to take this first stock. Burden of Proof is on him here. Down tilt into the forward air is going to do it. That water kunai. That's a, got a little bit of kick to it. He takes off his belt and he hits you. He's your dad. Yeah, it's ostensibly. Like, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> Don't make me get my switch. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that the... Wait a second. Is that the, is that the water shankla? Is that what that is? Yeah. No, that's the that, that that's the shuriken. That's the shuriken. My bad. Yeah, the Greninja star. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> Greninja Shankla. Oh god. Let's go, man. I love this stream. Explosive flame. Trying to catch Venya with the same stuff before, but no, Venya learned a fastball that time. Rapid jab gets him a little bit more damage. That's really what you're trying to do right now is make up the real estate, get him to a position where you can potentially cheese a stock, even though, okay, might be looking for the Hydro Pump, but that's why you're establishing yourself in neutral, and you're uh, trying to get whatever you can on the ground, open him up with the Rapid Jab, that opens up the grab game, opens up the, uh, the forward tilts, obviously. Micro spacing on deck for Venya. He winds up getting grabbed for his troubles and up thrown. That is not the way he wanted to do this, but he's in a good position to take the stock. 
and get it back to a relatively yeah. more even position. It's really going to depend on like what Jin is able to do with this lead. And right now, he's doing a pretty good job. Oh my god, stuffing the Nair. And yeah, just... Oh! Oh! oh. If Jen had like... Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Th there's no way there was a 4 4 I don't think so. No, there's absolutely no way. If any of it goes down, it's swinging. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. And, uh, yeah, just left Ooh. hanging there and well caught by, uh, oh, wait, am I by Jen. Bit? Okay, it goes here, and then... That was stock number two. Yeah, yeah. Stock number three. There you go. And, uh, did he actually just... Maybe he didn't expect to, like, have to hold his in as much. Regardless, I, I really do think that was it. It didn't really seem like... Because it looked like Venya wasn't recognizing the situation as quickly yeah. as he normally does. All just right. uh, was holding the wrong way. Anyway, uh, game three. This time I'm right. Uh, <laughs> there you go. But it's not not the decider, but uh, yeah. you got it. Not, 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 not tournament point right here, but... Uh, this, this will decide who gets the counter pick uh, if we go to game five. So this is still a very pivotal game. Whoever wins the best of three in the best of five has counter pick advantage for the best of five, game five. I wonder if his jump was eaten off in the forward air or something. Like, oh, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, mm, we should've been looking for that. Anyway, uh, we, we can check in the, uh, later on. Uh, so game three, uh, Venia counter picking to uh, FD. Like, you know, as you've seen before, pretty classic. Oh my god. Parries everywhere. Falling out of the up uh, the up smash, gonna hit sour. Sending off to the side with no real vigor. Yeah, but Wow. Yeah, oh, forward tilt. Okay. He, he is uh really better. tempting Jen because like you see every time he throws out yeah. the counter, like Jen like dashes forward because he wants to get uh he wants to run out and do a spike. Because in the past, that has happened uh, quite a lot. And so that might be conditioning by Ooh. for Vania. Uh, Multi-stock conditioning, perhaps. You know, where he's asking him to be a little bit more reckless because he's not being able to punish him now because he's respecting his space. And Venia sees that. So he's saying, saying like, I'll throw this out. If you want to punish that, you're going to have to get a little bit closer. But then you get a little bit closer, you might not be able to react to what I actually do. Yeah, you are being presented with Sophie's Choice every time you play Jen, and it's a little ridiculous how effectively he can do it. Yeah. This is, uh, this is Jen and Venya. It's the fastest game of chess you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, they slap in that button on the timer, like left and right, over and over again. But It really is. Yeah, honestly, yeah no, these are two uh, borderline grandmasters. So here we are on the second stock. Uh, Jen with a slight lead, 50 damage to six, basically 50 to zero. Oh, all right. Oh, wait a second. Then you're gonna close that gap immediately. Now I'm gonna let me finish my sentence. All run-ons over here. Yeah, how rude, right? Nevertheless, ooh, down ooh, there ooh. not going to find its mark, trying to pop up Venya. Instead, it's gonna be Jen that takes to the air, not the way that uh, Palatina might prefer. Trying to find this way in. Baiting out these options and these buttons that sure can perhaps opening up the door. Looking oh, wow. for that down smash again. Yeah. Looking for the neutral get up instead. Uh, Venya finds his way, gets Jen off the stage, and eventually out for the blast. Venya able to slink by that up air with an air dodge. A really slow one, too, because he hadn't like reached uh, his terminal velocity for falling. So that was actually really scary there. But right now, you know, if anyone wants to solidify this lead, he's going to have to deal some damage. Right now, 8 going to cut it. Not even 24. Maybe 37. <laughs> so well, it seems. But all right, at not the enough. same time, you just never know. And, oh, trying to make sure of it. Jen trying to challenge Venia. Had the Water Shuriken ready to go. Ooh. Oh, back air, however, sending him all the way across the stage. He read that he was waiting for the jump to go for the shadow sneak, but uh, so Jen punished him. However, he punished him in the wrong direction, wasn't able to take the stock. But it, see, that's that's one of those unfortunate things because now he knows that he's aware and he didn't even lose a stock for that. That's really good data. And that's oh, gonna be the game. Kunai not quite no. yet. No, Jen, staying alive here. However, that much closer. 
to a two to one advantage and the door that was open that game three and four you have to wonder if Jen is rethinking his tactics there and, and as just, it is officially a game three victory for Jen no Ryu to be found this time or and, for Venya excuse and, me and uh, just like that now Venya on tournament point uh, he can win this with just one more game see what uh, Jen, you know, changes. Are uh, we going back to FD? We are not no, going, going back to Ryu. We know that for certain. One, yeah. Go. I swear, if we go to game five and he picks Ryu, I'm just turning off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. Yeah. I would, just, yeah. I, I would like as much for my reel as possible. And anyway, as we go uh, throwing out a lot of nares, daring Renya to approach well parried. Dash attack, and we're okay, seeing Jen okay. open, uh, open up Venya quite a bit. He's baiting out a lot of these buttons and perhaps Ooh, getting Venya a little bit on tilt. Good combo there. Oh, my and God. And down air spike. Excuse me, Jen. Sending a message. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. You thought I was finished. Excuse yourself. All right, but now Venya kind of returning with, like, the same type of energy here. Because, like, what is a lead if you don't do any damage after? Wow. Oh, wait a second. Ooh, I love that high teleport. Venya was pressing a whole lot of buttons, so perhaps the movement options weren't quite as available as readily. Jen able to take advantage. Smashes a game of inches, folks. Game of pixels, if you will. Nevertheless, dash attack. Good follow-up there from Jen. However, not able to uh, capitalize as effectively as he'd like. Trying to tee up Jen for an aerial, nothing doing, but Venya always teasing the possibility. That's how he's closed out many of these games this tournament so far. Nevertheless, here we are. Okay. Game four with these uh, these two fine competitors. I believe this is game number uh, 13 between them all in all today. What is happening? Okay, that forward oh. up throw, yep, okay. Yeah, that's the up throw for you. All right, 70 damage. Like, yeah, that's a lead, but it, it, it so fast can change with these characters. So it's like either Jen's going to, like, get a kill, like, in the next few seconds, about a minute, or or Venny is going to even it up. Yep. And then we'll be right back where we started. What, kind, what lead? Come exactly. on, you know better than to try and shield grab uh, Greninja Nair. I mean, thus far, these two have played wow. 12 games so far today. The record oh is 6 God. and 6. Jen looking to take game 7 and tie this set up. Win number 7, excuse me, and tie this up at 2. Venya. Is that including the Ryu games? Yeah, oh, we okay. are definitely. <laughs> look, hey, they I, were played. I'm messing, I'm messing. They were played, okay? They, they definitely, like, uh, they were. The characters were selected, buttons were pressed. Um, I'm not sure if anyone played, though. Uh, you're not sure if both <laughs> parties played, is yes. what you're saying. I mean, look, the Ryu was in Oh, bad. my God! Oh, Jen in hot pursuit of this, of this frog. Oh, those, my gosh. Venny, a public enemy two. number one, eventually brought to the light of justice by Jen. And we are going to a Game 5 True Finals. He got a Ooh. lot of mileage on down air out of that one, Devin. Yeah, he really did. And this is kind of what I mean. Like, he's been looking for that. Every time he saw the boom. Oh, my God. Beautiful stuff. And now, final destination indeed. It's two. Two between these two in true finals. Yep. As I said earlier, you know, Venio won the best of three within the best of five. So game five goes to his counter pick. We're going to final destination as per Venio's choice. Yep, and it's time to settle this. And we saw Final Destination working not quite in his favor uh, earlier on between these two. I believe it was uh, Winner's Final that we saw Jen yep. take Venya to this place and come out on top. Okay, let's see what happens. Dash attack. Spooky time. It's spooky time, you say, huh? Yeah. Because, like... Oh man, so Venya already with a pretty solid lead here. Now he just has to secure the kill or Jen is going to end up evening it out the percents and it looks like it's going to go with the ladder. 
Not not quite there just yet. Oh, on our way though. Oh my oh. god, 76 to 100. Oh, okay, you saw he was looking for that spike. That's not gonna be it, but it's gonna put him in a really good position. All right. Can look for this edge guard, not quite actually. You're not seeing Venya uh, be as trepidous with his edge guards as you might see him normally. Oh, he's respecting he's Jen's ability to turn garbage into gold. However, Venya. Auto reticle that. Yeah, no, there is no reticle needed. All I have are my eyes and my fists, and I utilize them quite well. My water belt. Yeah. You know, as uh, I guess Greninja doesn't really have fists. Does Greninja have opposable thumbs? I don't know. I'm I I think so. Anyway. We're going to have to look at this later. All right, so. I'm going to have to look at this later. I can't believe I did this to myself. Anyway, up till. All right. The up air. Here's the blender, folks. Hard to get out of. here. Oh, who I cannot believe you gave Venya wow. a reason to be angry. It's actually nuts. Okay, okay. Uh, that might be Nah, if he was closer to the ledge, it would have been. So now, Jen, I mean, it, it's gotta be such a negative oh. mindset that Jen is coming into this with. Right, I mean, the whole reason that you're in this set. That back throw was always going to kill. Let's not make yeah. any... Uh, no, that's the stock there. But all right, any so about that. 86, this is basically kind of a repeat of the first stock where, like, uh, either Venny is able to get the kill now and solidify a large lead, or, Ven or Jen is going to even up the percentages, and then it'll go either way. And again, it looks like it's going with the ladder. It, it's so hard. Like, one of the hardest things in Smash Brothers is just being able to secure the kill. Like, when you're at such a high level, it, it's just, that's what makes good players good. I mean, Venia, It's the literal win condition. Jen has to, has to catch one of these jumps to get out of the combos at some point, right? And you would have to think that that'll Ooh. come at uh, some point. Wow, uh, great, like, theater out on. to... to Punish the forward air. That's a hard move to punish. Oh, God, he DI'd down. That was really good. Oh, my God. And then Venya tried to read the downward DI, but he was still too far. Ah! Down air. Oh, my God. You really just tried to down... <coughs> Excuse me, to down air her like that. Yeah, the cool thing about Greninja down air is that when you down air wow. on shield, he, he like, auto jumps. And the cooler thing in Ultimate is that he doesn't lose his jump like he did in Smash 4. All right, You're Jen right. on his... Tournament stock. Unbelievable that we're even saying this right now, considering how this all started. Yeah. And now looking for the grab, not finding it. This Greninja sticking and moving, trying to play as patiently as possible. Okay. Has not been letting Jen get his usual combos Ooh. in the air. He's been jumping out of all of them, and Jen simply not pursuing in the air. Trying to do some long-term conditioning here. Multi-stock conditioning, as you were talking about, perhaps. But the thing about the end game is that you eventually have to get to it. And right now, Venya is piling on the damage. The pressure is on Jen. The heat is getting turned up. And you got to wonder if it's Jen's hand that's on the dial to begin with. All right, things are looking pretty good for Venia right now. He's dealing quite a bit of damage here to keep this lead well in his favor, even if he loses the stock. And at this point, it is definitely an if. Yep, 65%. Okay. However, right. Nair it, is going to connect. It was a win. There you go. It could be another frog in the pot. Oh, oh, oh. oh. wait a second. Up smash. 94 damage Dude. is a great deal for your yeah. last stock. Can't afford to get hit with one of these up airs. Venya is going to have to present something different. If Great he wants resource to. management by Jen on that recovery. And Wait a second! Not quite yet. The red light lies, folks. The kicks. Back air. Parry. Well done by Venya. Ready on that. Oh, was looking to end it right then and there from the middle of the stage. However, the Nairs will come out. Okay. Jen. This is it wow. for all the marbles. This is your tournament wow. right here. Back air. Trying to catch him with the explosive flame as oh, he did in his final. Things are picking up so quickly. And now, <laughs> I'm so Harry's spooked. Carries the forward air. I'm back air. Oh, he's letting them come down. Oh, the shadow sneak tries to make it back. Oh, we, I was oh, waiting for the left truck. Might be it. Forward throw. Is that going to do it? It, it will, is. and Venia takes wow. it. Three to two in true finals. The comeback kid. Wow. Never count out Venia. Wow. 
Unbelievable stuff from Venia of Deadly Alliance fame. Deadly indeed. He starts playing with motivation. He starts playing with purpose. He becomes what he claims to be Damn. the best frog on the planet. Thank you, Tiger Blade. Thank you very much, Tiger Blade. So, folks, that was the tournament. That is your final score from True Finals after the 3 2 reset, the reverse 3 0, where Jen uh, went Ryu. And for games three and four, all of a sudden you see the go you see him go Palu, but then, you know, that's uh that's Greninja. When he when he's uh when he's a ball rolling downhill, it's hard to stop that momentum. Then the reset happens, three two again to Venia, who is your Xenosaga thirty two champion. I would like to 